These cello suites are uh, one of the uh, pinnacles of writing for the cello uh, and every performer that plays uh, the cello suites usually learn them from a very early age and work on them for their entire lives. So it's, a, it's a continuing uh, quest to uh, find the meaning in the, in the work. This recording was made on a Guinarius, Joseph Guinarius cello uh, made in 1707. Uh, it's one of the finest cellos in the world and uh, when we decided that we were going to make this recording we wanted to capture the sound of the cello in its most natural possible way. When we uh, set up to do the recording um, I chose to use the Royer 122s uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, the 122s have um, a, an impedance matching amplifier built into them which means that they have a higher output than uh, the straight 121 microphones. The Royer ribbon microphones compared to the condenser microphones uh, had a very smooth sounding top end and it sounded to me in the control room the way that it sounded when I was standing in front of the solo instrument. Uh, a bowed instruments have a tendency with condensers often, uh, particularly when they're mic'd fairly close, they have a tendency to, to have a very exaggerated high end which is uh, unnatural to my ear and also uh, very harsh sounding. Uh, the Royers had this beautiful warmth that sounded completely natural and they also had a wonderful way of picking up the sound of the room. For years I've been using uh, a modification of a DECA tree for the setup uh, for recording uh, chamber groups and film scores. I use one mic in the center. Uh, a little closer to the uh, instruments and then one mic on each side uh, so it's a total of three microphones. In the case of the cello recording uh, the center mic would be placed back maybe uh, three or four feet from the instrument back a another uh, couple of feet would be the uh, left and right microphones uh, aimed at the instrument further back a and all three of those microphones uh, pick up the sound of the instrument and the sound of the room and the advantage of the DECA tree is that you can vary the ratio between the center mic and the left and right mics to vary the uh, width and focus of the stereo image. And we used, at the same time we were using the uh, three Royer 122s, we also had a matched pair of Royer 122V uh, tube microphones that we set up in between just as a straight uh, spaced stereo pair and recorded to an analog tape deck going through uh, custom built tube mic pre, so everything in the chain was uh, going through tubes and it just uh, made a wonderful uh, warm sounding recording. The ribbon microphone has a natural figure eight pattern uh, which is uh, great. It means that it picks up beautifully from in front but it also picks up from behind. Uh, but it completely eliminates the sound coming in from the sides and uh, this is uh, very useful when you're recording um, in a live uh, situation, in a live room situation. Um, you want to pick up uh, some of the room in the sound of the microphones but quite often if you use an omnidirectional microphone, omnidirectional microphone, um, it'll be picking up the sound from the sides of the room which tend to be closer to the instrument and because they're closer, it's a shorter delay time and it often will phase with the instrument and make the instrument sound a little bit hollow. Uh, whereas the ribbon microphone picks up from the back of the microphone and if the angles are right, uh, it'll pick up the stuff uh, from further away, uh, further down the hall and that is a denser sounding reverb, a longer delay and it just adds to the warmth of the instrument. It gives you a beautiful hall sound without having any of the uh, sort of close hollow sounding stuff coming from the sides.
We're known as Alenka's recording of these Bach cello suites has gotten a great deal of acclaim, uh, not just because of her performance and interpretation, but also because of the sound of the recording. And uh, that's due uh, largely thanks to the Royal Microphones. Uh, when I decided I was going to do this recording with uh, the three microphones, I called up uh, our Royer distributor, and he had Royer uh, handpick a set of three factory matched microphones, so I have uh, three perfectly matched ribbons that uh, do a fantastic job for recording in this uh, modified Deca tree arrangement. Again, I was looking to make the most natural sounding recording of this fabulous 300 year old Guarnerius cello. Uh, wasn't interested in using any plugins or anything. We wanted the instrument to sound uh, just the way it did to me uh, when I sat in front of it in the room. The Royer microphones, they did that for me. Thank you. 